Good morning. Let's do a makeup look. I want to do, my focus today will be perfect skin. I'm going to begin with, I'm going to begin with the Charlotte Tilbury Healthy Glow. And I'm going to use my NYX Glass Face Primer Brush. It's, it's amazing how, what a difference it makes. Immediately, this healthy glow adjusts to your face and gives you a healthy glow. Yesterday was sunny and I sat out in the sun, but I think the breeze was coming from the north. It's, my phone said it was 70, but it sure was a chilly 70. Anyway, I sat out in the sun yesterday. I was covered up. I had a lot of layers on. I was trying to soak up D. D's good for your immune system. All right, I like that. That looks great. I love that. All right, now I'm going to just move on to my eyes. We'll, we'll do... It colors the brush too, but I am putting foundation over this. Let's do eyes. I'm going to use the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush to apply this. So what did I do last night? Last night I was really tired because yesterday I was up about four. I do not know why. So I turned on the TV series Flaked and dozed in and out through that. It was very relaxing. And then Taco decided he needed me up. I think he had to go out. He has a way of, I don't know what it is he does. He shakes his ears and he harumphs until I do what he wants. Until I do, until I acquiesce. It's a very subtle torture. All right, Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. I'm going to go in with Scott Barnes palette because I have... The reason I pulled this one out today is because it's got a color in it that I like to use on my brows. So therefore, I'm just going to do the... Just use the whole palette. I usually go with... Anyway... I'm just going for it. I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'm going to start with Fam, And since it's darker, I'm going to keep it in, keep it down lower like that. I'll show you which one. That's fam. I know it's pretty dark for a beginner color, for the beginning of a look, right? So today is Thursday. Pat will be home this evening. He's been gone since Sunday. Yep, he's still working. He's still seeing people. I'd be seeing people too if they weren't following the rules. Rule number one. yourself. I know. I know. It's not a joke. Serious business. All right. Now I'm going to take a flat brush. This is the medium sweeper in the E54 by Sigma. And I'm going to use Starlet. So yeah, I went, I dozed from about before seven until after eight. And then I, when Taco made me get up, I did my teeth brushing and everything. Actually, I'd already brushed my teeth. I put in my retainers and put on my eyelash serum. Now I'm gonna take the color Laced. Oh, the birds are all excited. Taco and I have not been on our walk yet. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This one's by Morphe because my Sigma 
pencil brushes are dirty. Now I'm going to take that fam, put it right there. I'm going to leave my eye open so I can see where the placement needs to be on the top here. I want that corner filled in dark. And I'm still using them like that. Then I'm going to take Temptation. This one's Temptation. This is the same one I want to use in my brows. And I'm adding that to the outside. Really close to the, on that corner. In case you're wondering what I'm doing. So what did Taco and I do all day yesterday? Well, we edited, we made videos, we edited videos, went for walks. We went on two long walks. Well, for him it was a long walk. It's long for me because he dilly dallies. So he had. He's gotten to where, now that he's a senior, I don't make him wear his leash. I know, I'm a rule, I'm a rule breaker on every level. Anyway, he does, he knows the way, but he's really pokey because he spends a lot of time on, on each smell. I'm going to take the Sigma pomade and I'm gonna take a teeny weeny brush this is the Sigma Teeny Weeny Brush. Actually, it's the winged liner. I'll put the, I think it's an E06. I'll put that right here when I'm sure. I didn't put my contacts in yet. I forgot that step. Okay, let's just draw some brows. So I went over to the gym. I never read my emails. The emails from the gym are always so they don't just stay, say straightforward. There's so much preambling. I, I get bored before they get to the point and I delete them. So I didn't know when I went over to the gym yesterday that all the classes were canceled. The gym was open to, you know, use the weight machines and treadmill, ellipticals, blah, blah, blah. But the classes were canceled. Anyway, I got over there early and got on the treadmill like I usually do. And then there was no, no people's gathering outside the classroom waiting to go in because there's a, a flow class prior to the bar class and there's usually people outside waiting for the next class. Anyway, there were no people's waiting and so I went up to the front desk and I said, I am so sorry, but I don't read my emails. Are the classes canceled? And they said, yes. So I got my, my stuff and went home. There's no point for me lately. There's no point going to the gym unless there's a class. If I'm going to walk, I can walk at home with Taco. Also Taco and I drove over even though it's less than a mile, or it's probably just a mile, over to the grocery store, Lowe's. I need it half and half. When I do decide I want half and half, I want to be sure that they have, I have it. I only bought one half gallon. I should have bought two or more. We buy the half and half by the half gallon. <laughs> That's how much of it we drink. It is keto friendly. I guess our diet is keto-ish. We mostly just do carnivore. We just eat meat. Meat and creamer. Meat in half and half. Got a funny place right there in my brow where it, it gaps. Wow, this is tedious. This is why most 
most creators just say, all right, all right, now I have my brows on. They cut the camera off while they do this part. I really think as the days go by, I become more and more brow challenged. All right, do they look like sisters? Or cousins? Distant relatives? I don't care. All right, that was arduous. Now let's go in and look at this, this color here, Temptation. There's something about this that I, I truly love. We'll put it on the tail. I'm gonna keep it way back because it's really dark. It's really a beautiful color though. They're good at, okay, so that dog that y'all hear barking now, She's the one that started the dog walking without the leash. Her dog's a senior dog too. I think it's a cocker. Anyway, she's, this particular woman is really gregarious. Let's see if she's out there. I'll show her to you. She, you can't see her from here. Anyway, she's really gregarious and the, she stops along the way and visits with everybody that has a you wouldn't believe how many white cockers or cream colored cockers there are up and down. Okay, there we go. Up and down the street. So I like that eye. That was fam. I used the fem. Fam. I used starlet. And I used lace. Now let's do an eyeliner. Those were kids. I bet the kids are having a ball being out of school. Woohoo! I have a Charlotte Tilbury liner in here that I might use. I think that's the Tom Ford. I'll reserve that one for the tight line. Okay, here's Jante Bleu. I know, it's random. And the color is dark brown. And that's exactly what I need. The other day when I was doing a look where I needed a dark brown pencil, I couldn't say, find this to save my life. Okay, I'm going to color at my lash line. Anyway, the, the lady with the cocker is very gregarious. And I think at some point we hurt her feelings. Because when we see her coming, we snatch Taco up and carry him. And the reason we do that is because she's gregarious and she allows her dog to get up, go over and visit every dog that they pass on the path. And Taco is not friendly. And he'll bite other dogs. He'll woolly but he, he won't go over there and just wag his tail and sniff each other's butts. He'll bite them. Not that he can bite now that he has so many teeth removed. Or he can bite, but he won't hurt anybody. We say as we pass, sorry, he's not friendly. But I think she thinks we're using that as an excuse to be buttholes. Believe you me, Pat and I don't need excuses to be buttholes. I don't have a problem with people thinking I'm a butthole. There's the brown. I'm going to work on it a little bit with a, a cumin tip. A cotton bud. All right. I'm going to use the this nude pencil in my waterline. This one is the one by Makeup Geek and the color is nude. And it is good to go ahead and do this before you put your mascara on because I do get nude pencil on my, my lashes. And then I'm gonna take Overboard. Well, isn't that a fine how do you do? It came out of the came out of the holder. This is overboard by Colourpop. I'm putting it just on the outside corners. I'm not bringing it all the way over because I don't want it to make my eyes look smaller. That was overboard by Colourpop. And it's a gel liner and it's it goes on really easy. All right, now I'm gonna curl my lashes today. This is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I don't know if this is the best one. I just know 
that prior to this one, I probably had one by Revlon. And it's better than that. If you have an eyelash curler that you think is the bomb diggity, uh, share it with the rest of us right here. And tell us why it's so awesome sauce. This is the Seals Booster by Lancome. And it's one of those travel sizes. And I have two of them. I may have another one somewhere else. If I do, I'm going to go find it because I like this stuff. I think it's it's different. I think it's different and I think it's better than the one by Essence. Well, just for shits and giggles, let's pull that one out. It might just be because this one's wetter. We're, we're gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna see if this one works as well. In the past, my, my impression was that it did not work as well. Like the other products didn't stick to it as, as nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one can come through that. I know it's not pure science, is it? We're adding too many variables. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. My eye, my eye look isn't very exciting. Maybe the mascara will make it exciting. If it doesn't get exciting after the, I'm gonna add a brighter color. Oh, I know. I'm gonna add this one. This one's exciting. I'm going to add this, you know how I always say, and we're going to have this color peeping out from underneath. Well, this is going to be the peeping out underneath color. Put it right here where my corner color fades into my center color. And then my center color was Starlet. There we go. Let's work on skin. All right, so, so far we have the Healthy Glow and it smells good and it feels good. So we have the foundation buffed in. I have another foundation stick foundation that's too light. So we're going to use this through the center of our face. This is my hourglass. Uh, I'll put the exact name right here. Vanish cream. I'm going to use a different, a different brush. I'm going to use my Delian brush. I'm going to begin contouring my nose by using this light color down the side of my nose. I'm not, well, I guess I will. I'll go ahead and bring it up underneath my eyes. It might be too heavy for that. I'm gonna get around my nose where I tend to get red with a magnifying glass. Not that it takes a magnifying glass for everyone, but with the magnifying glass, I can see that I have some capillaries around my nose. I like to bring the light color up here, right here, because it helps lift the corners of my mouth so I don't look like such a sourpuss. Yeah, this is going to be, this makeup today is going to be a little bit extra. Where am I going? I'm taking Taco for a walk. We may go back over to the grocery store and get some more creamer. Half and half. The, the toilet paper aisle was empty. What the hell? Why is the toilet paper aisle empty? Is it a conspiracy? I mean, there's food. Why isn't there toilet paper? I don't understand that. Does anybody know why there's... Is it because people are buying that much toilet paper? Or because they're not, the toilet paper companies are shutting down for their employees. What, what is, anyway, I don't care. I just, wow, I got too white, didn't I? All right, we're gonna have to go back and fix that. <laughs> I'm taking my brush that had the Make It Forever on it back. 
I never did get my cover FX squirter going. I was doctoring on that this morning, soaking it in hot water and poking a toothpick in the holes and everything to get it going again. I have not lost hope yet. I may need a needle. A toothpick may not dislodge what the issue, dislodge the Im impediment. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I don't know why I didn't use it when I was on my brows. It's because I'm all over the place. It appears that my lashes are dry. I would think they would be dry by now. Let's do some Too Faced Better Than Sex. That's a stupid name. How about Too Faced Better Than Pizza? Back when I was on the standard American diet, I used to eat a lot of pizza. It was like my favorite food. I could eat pizza three times a day. I could eat it for breakfast. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Gonna live on pizza. Yeah, when I find out that I have 24 hours to live, I'm gonna have pizza, cigarettes, and cavoisier. How about that? Uh, Marlboro Light, pizza, Marlboro Lights, and Cavoisier. Or a gin and tonic. Or a sapphire gin martini. Or a tempranillo. Or all of them. If I only have 24 hours to live, the hangover won't be too bad, will it? I'm telling you, this essence, I... Mascara primer is not as good. I don't think the mascara sticks to it as well. It sticks to my lids all right though. Uh, I have good news. Y'all aren't gonna have to look at the back of this anymore. I ordered a new mirror. It's on its way. You know how I know? Because they sent me a shipment con confirmation. Do you want me? Okay, I'll put right here which mirror I ordered. It's cute. All right, well, I made a mess with that. I'll come back and clean up the smeckles in a minute. All right, let's do contour. I pulled out my Fenty. First of all, I'm gonna use my light Fenty. This is the In the, in the Sun. In the, in the Sun. Ears are so stopped up. I'm gonna use my Real Tex Techniques blush brush to apply this generously. So yesterday was Wednesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I washed my hair on day five. So my hair's fresh today. So I used the, the mousse. I washed my hair last night and used the mousse. I did not tease it this time. So that mousse gives it a lot of body. That Invisiwear, this, Invisible Wear. This is the fast contour for your nose. You take it, I'm making the profile skinnier and I'm flipping it up the edge of, of my nose like this. That's a very subtle contour. All right, now I'm gonna take the darker one and I'm gonna use my Sigma Soft Angle, Soft Angled Contour F23. You know how I know what the name of this is? Cause it says it right there. And I'm using the Coco Naughty by Fenty now. Why do I contour my jawline? Because I can. I'm making a shadow underneath my bottom lip to make it look pouty. Today I'm gonna use the Peach Perfect Loose Powder. Why? Just switch it up. I'm going to use the Tapered Face by F20 by F25, the Sigma Tapered Face F25. Oh, 
This stuff is awesome. It smells like peaches and it tastes like peaches. I'm going to go back and fix the places where I bumped with the mascara. Now I want to use a blush. Did I bring a blush out here? I'm going to use my highlighter first. I pulled this out. This is Glow, Glam Glow Glam Powder. I'm going to take my high cheekbone highlighter brush. It's a FO3 by Sigma. And you already know how I know that because I already told you earlier. I'm using the middle one in this. I'm going to take the white one. Sorry about that. The white one. And I'm going to put that one on the end of my nose. I'm not certain that the foundation, that light foundation I use, meets the standards that I require underneath my eyes. So I'm going to buff off a layer of that and go back with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I'm going to use my Soft Blend Concealer Brush F64. My brushes smell good. Do you know why? Because the ends are sitting in coffee beans. I need a blush. I need, oh, here we go. All right, so I pulled out this one. This one's margin. I'm going to get a clean blush brush so we don't confuse the issue. Okay, that's too shiny. I figured that when I looked at it. So I should use that as a highlight. Ugh, that was really shiny. These microfiber cloths work as erasers. All right, I'm gonna. It's okay. I mean, I would have liked. I would. I would just use margin as a highlight. I wouldn't use it in the front of my face like that. Okay, I think I brought it down some. Ugh. All right, let's pull out the Dolce. This is the Dolce Vita by NARS. I cannot stand my ears being stopped up. I had someone mention that they were tempted to get the Grande Lip. Let me describe it first. I would say it's hot like those little cinnamon, those little tiny cinnamon candies. I would say it's akin to that. And see my lips immediately start, it starts pulling blood to the surface. It makes a good cut. Ooh. It does have a little stinging effect. If you don't like stinging, you won't like this. I'm going to put on some more mascara. I'm going to dot my eyelids some more. Alright, let's do a lip liner. I'm going, risking being repetitive, I'm going to go ahead and take the medium lip cheat. It's pillow top to medium. It actually won't write on top of the... Yeah, my lips are too glossy to get the lip liner to write. So you can't see that. Let's uh, add some dimension by putting a little bit of the Kim KW in the middle. And then feathering it out.
All right, my lash line still isn't dark enough. So I'm going to put uh, the Tom Ford on my tie line. I put the dark brown above my lashes. In my last video, I was mentioning the luminous, illuminating face mist that I used by Tony Molly. I'll show you that. They may have something similar to it now, but I think this is discontinued. And that, like I said before, I can't get my FX to work. Okay, I know, I mess with my hair when I do this because this always wilts it. All right, this is it. And it's perfumey smelling. My fan is it in here. I used it in the other room yesterday when I redid my nails. This is called Apollo, Apollo You Anywhere by Sally Hansen. The, so this is what I have on my nails today. It's the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in the color Apollo You Anywhere. Apollo You Anywhere, exactly. Number 342, and then I always put Session Beat over the top because I need it to dry fast because I get impatient sitting there. Okay, let's fluff up the hair. Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. Instant Lasting Volume and Texture. This is no teasing today. Okay, there's that. Oh, and then one more thing. I have on a v-neck shirt today, and when I wear a v-neck, I like to include this stuff. This is uh, the Tom Ford Sparkle Oil. All right, I'm gonna have to put some on the back of my hands. I went a little ham. A little dab will do you for, for reals. It smells good. It smells like beach, beach flowers. There we go. I have a new nighttime skin treatment that I'm using on my neck and decollete. Decollete. That's how we say it now in South Carolina. Decollete. Anyway, if uh, you're interested in my new treatment for this area, leave a pink heart in the comments. I hope this get ready. I hope. I hope this makeup look was fun for you. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Kill your family. Have a great day and